Your back affects your daily health. Welcome to another installment of Your Spine, Your Health. Welcome to Your Spine. I'm Dr. Dean, and this is all about your spine, your health. Last week we talked about T8. T8 is the thoracic vertebra. Today we're going to talk about T9 and its relationship to T10. The cervical spine at the top, the thoracic spine in the middle of our body, and the lumbar spine at the bottom. The ribs connect to all the thoracic vertebra, and today we're going to discuss spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is an abnormal narrowing of the spinal canal that may occur in any region of the spine. This narrowing causes a constriction to the spinal cord, resulting in neurologic deficits. This is usually brought on over time by degeneration of the spinal discs and bone spurs associated with spinal arthritis and is commonly age-related. Symptoms include pain, numbness, paresthesias, which are numbness, tingling, and loss of motor control, and in advanced cases, a loss of bladder control, bowel, or sexual function. A slow progression of spinal stenosis may lead to a feeling of heaviness in the legs that is relieved by periods of rest. A more rapid onset of spinal stenosis may lead to severe disabling pain that can persist despite rest or pain relieving medications. Spinal stenosis is the leading diagnosis in patients over 65 who undergo spinal surgery. Statistics suggest that five of every thousand persons over the age of 50 now suffer from some degree of spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis may also be present in younger patients because of malformations of the spine since birth. In this case, a minor injury of the spine leading to a herniated disc can contribute to spinal stenosis even without age-related degenerative changes. This can be extremely frustrating for the active person and it can rapidly lead to severe disability. There are some clues we look for in suspected cases of spinal stenosis, difficulty standing, pain and weakness when walking in one or both legs, pain that is relieved by sitting down and bending forward at the waist, pain that is initially relieved by laying down but becomes progressively worse during the night, pain above and below the knees, wasting of the buttock muscles, poor bladder control, unsteadiness and poor balance, and loss of feeling or burning in the feet. Spinal stenosis must be differentiated from other disorders such as MS, tumors of the spine, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. Patients are encouraged to keep active and are counseled in strategies to manage the pain when it is severe. For more information on the topics we have discussed today, be sure to contact your family chiropractor. Remember, your back is important to your daily health. Join us on the next show as we continue our journey down your spine.